somebody tell me what the mean is or another word for mean? Average. Average. The mean is the same as the average. Usually we use the word, we've heard the word average more than mean. What does average mean? How do you find an average? Like the overall. Yeah. How, how do you find it mathematically? How do I find an average? Let's say you scored a 80 on the test today, you scored a 70 last week, you scored 100 the other week, you scored 50 one week. How can I find out what is your average score? Add them. Add them. And then divide them. By right. the you add up all the numbers. And then you divide by how many numbers you added up. So we would divide that by four. So the average would be 75. Which means that if I got 75 on each of these tests, I would have scored 300. Mm -hmm. But I didn't. I got it 100 here, 80 here, 70. It's the same with the GD test. You have to have an average of 450 in five tests. Like you showed us before, mm -hmm. 24. Right. Mm -hmm. So it means that some number in here, when I divide it by five, has to give me 450. And we've decided that we could figure that out by saying, what? How do I figure out what number goes in here, what the total has to be? No. Multiply. Well, when you see this division box, that's what you have to understand. Well, how are these numbers related? This number in here is this times that, right? Mm -hmm. We just break it down the other way. We start with the total, typically, and then divide and get this number. But the number that you get up here, if you multiply this times this, you have to get this number in here. Okay? So. How you doing, Tom? Good to see you today. Yes, ma'am. It had to be 2250 in here in order to divide by 5 and get 450 up here. And I did that by multiplying 450 times 5. That's why this answer is 4. Because 4 times 2 is 8. Division is the opposite of multiplication. The number in here, these two numbers, when you multiply them together, gives you this. So if I have, just like in everything else I told you, if you only have one thing missing, you can figure it out. Mm -hmm. Because what we expect is that every time they ask for an average, they're going to give us all the numbers. And we add them up and divide by the number that we added and come up with the average. No, sometimes they'll give us the average. Tell us how many people and ask us questions about it. For instance, let's say there were five boys and their average weight was 160. 